Okay guys, in two hours, Hurricane San Andreas hits Kentucky. That means I have two hours to make the most epic weed eating vlog you guys have ever seen. Or at least try to. So first, let me tell you how this all started out. Well, for one, the grass needs weed eating. But two, let me tell you how my conversation went with mom last night, okay? Hey mom, can I go fishing in the morning before it starts raining? No. Why not? No. So then I figured, okay, she don't want me to go fishing in the morning. But I ain't gonna sit in the bed all day, because once it starts raining, your day's basically over if you live in Kentucky and make outdoor vlogs like I do. So I said to myself, hey, I'll just go weed eating in the morning. That's a few words you'll never hear come out of her mouth, is you're not allowed to weed eat. She'll never say that. And so that's what I'm here to do today. Now I figured to make a good weed eating vlog, I could either do one of two things. One, do this right here. Or two, do a voiceover with a story time about the time I got bit by a possum. And so I believe I'm going to go with the second option. Stay tuned, boys. Okay, so first, let me give you the setting, okay? So it was last season's trapping season. It, there was only like a month left, so I was really just trying to try and catch any animal I could. I wasn't targeting coyotes, bobcats, nothing like that. I just wanted to go out and catch animals, which included possums, okay? So I caught this possum, and I don't remember why, but I didn't want to flesh it. I really just wanted to keep it live. Our plan was that we was going to shoot it out that night and do a little coon hunting video, possum hunting video. And we was going to use that possum just in case we couldn't tree our own coon or tree our own possum. Now keep in mind, I first got this possum at 8 o'clock in the morning, 8 a.m., and we was going to set him out that night at about, you know, 8 p.m. So I'd had him that whole day and he had a lot of frustration building up. To transport this possum, you know, I just had a simple cage trap for coons and I just put them in there that way, you know, it's a good cage. It really transports possums well. We was getting ready to put the possum on the ground and let him run up a tree. So, you know, I mean, I'd pick this possum up the whole day and, and him really not be that aggressive. And I'd picked up plenty possums in the past and I mean plenty possums. Everybody I've asked that has never heard of possums biting people. Most of the times a possum will act mean and it'll open its mouth up real wide and show you all its teeth, but it won't bite anything. Like you can stick a stick in its mouth and it won't bite it. Notice I said most of them because here's the time it actually happened. So you know, I was about to set him on the ground and let him run with the tree, so I go reach in the cage to bite him. He was hanging on the side of the cage and I was reaching out to get his back and my hand went right by his head and at that moment, I guess he just figured, hey, why not just bite this fool? And he turned around and snapped my hand. And I mean, he didn't hold on long, but he held on. I remember he held on for like a second or two and I just shook him off like. And all I remember thinking then is, oh my gosh, my mom's gonna kill me. So then I went ahead and threw the possum back in the cage, came back to the house. At the house, we figured out that possums rarely carry rabies, but we went on the safe side and still went to the emergency room, got me some kind of pills and medicine to make it go away, and you know, I was never hurt. However, it did leave a scar, and I'll show it to you as soon as I get done weedy. But now you may be asking, okay, there's a possum, it just bit you. How did you get revenge? Well, I'll tell you exactly how I got revenge. So I'm on this pond right out in the middle of the field, nobody's around it, so you know, me and my cousin, we took it out there, it was at night, he got his spotlights, shined it on the cage, I let it out of the cage, let him walk out. So he was running right by the pond, he thought he was free. I knew he wasn't free. I pulled out the 17 and I shot his butt. Yes, sir, I shot his butt. This was a 17 HMR. If you know what a 17 HMR is, it's basically like a miniature 50 cal. So he was just trotting away thinking he was free. Uh-uh, I pulled up, blasted him. The bullet went straight through his butthole and out through his head. He did not move another muscle. I was done with that possum. I didn't want anything to do with him. I wasn't gonna skin him. I wasn't doing nothing. I picked him up by his dead tail, slung him out in the pond, and that's where he floated for two months after that. Now some of you may think that sounds a little cruel, but listen guys, he stinking bit me and he was mad. And I was mad too, and I'm pretty sure I showed him who's boss. And since then, every other animal who's walked by that pond and saw that possum knows that they better not bite me or they'll be the next one. And so anyways, guys, I'm finally done weed eating. I'm going to show you how much it looks like. On my face, mm, I don't think there's that much grass. On my arms, now you're starting to get into more grass. Then the farther you go down, the more grass that sticks with your body. Now when you get to boots, well, yeah, you're pretty much covered in grass by your boots. But now back to that possum bite for a second. It actually left a scar that I will probably take with me for the rest of my life. See it right there? Oh wait, no, not that one. That one. 
that one, that's from a desk at school. But yeah, it left me that little mark right there. And then it also left me one right here. I think it's that one. It didn't do too much damage to the palm or to the back of my hand, but the scar on the back of my hand, you can still tell it's there. And I gotta admit, guys, that's probably the meanest possum I will ever see in my life. Hopefully, because if not, then shoot, I don't know. But there is a small flock of starlings down here in this field. The starlings are legal to kill at any time of the year. I'm pretty sure it's because they're not native to the United States. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but I know it's true that you can kill them year round and they're not illegal or federally protected. So I'm gonna get my 22, go down there and try to snipe one or two. I'll probably just miss them, but I mean, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Now for these birds, I am gonna be rocking my 22. Now, I would be using that air gun one of y'all sent in the mail, except I think these birds are a little bit farther away from me than I'm going to get be able to reach with my air gun. Now, I, I did go out with my air gun, and I actually killed a bird off camera. I didn't film it because, I mean, well, never mind. It, it's, it wasn't illegal or anything. It wasn't federally protected. But anyways, this is what I'm shooting today. And for ammo, I'm just shooting this bulk pack of solid points. They actually shot pretty good for me whenever I sighted this thing in, so. You know, we'll see if I hit anything, though. I've not hit something with this 22 in, like, straight up forever. Hopefully, we can change that today, because I believe I got a lot of targets. There's a whole flock of them. And so, if you're wondering what Tweety birds are legal to shoot, and you thought that they were all legal and all songbirds, well, you're right. All songbirds are legal to shoot. However, sparrows and starlings... They are legal to shoot because they are not native to the United States. Now, are they songbirds? I don't know, but they're legal to shoot, and that's my plan is to kill some today. But let me give you the lay down, okay? So here they are. They're in this field up here, which was used to be hay, except they cut it for hay, and now all the seeds are exposed in this field. I'll try to find one on the camera for you. There's one. There's one. Yep. Never mind. That's a robin. Can't shoot him. But anyways, there is like a, a flock of them. I believe the last time I saw them, they's over there. But I'm going to go park over here and then shoot across the creek from them. Hopefully, I can kill one. We'll see, though. Okay, guys, I've spotted some. Let's see what they are. Yep, there they are right there. See them? There. Wait. Never mind, guys. Those are doves. Wait, no, that one. That's a sparling. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at my scope. That's, that's a shooter. That's a shooter. Okay, guys, I'm taking the shot. I missed. Can you believe it? Well, I saw him. I found him. I shot at him. I missed him. You know, that, that's just how it goes sometimes. Seems like for me it happens more than normal, but I guess that's just how it is for me. I don't know if you guys saw it or not, how you was zoomed in on that one bird, but whenever I shot, they was like 10 birds flew up that I didn't even see. But there was one starling, which is the one I shot at, and they was like seven doves. Now the dove story, it's kind of cool. Two years ago, I never saw a dove in here. Last year, I actually saw two doves. All right, this year, I saw a few doves nesting, and then I come out here today, and they're like, there's like, there's like a flock of them. There's like 10, 12, 15. They're everywhere. Now, I don't know. I think that's good. I don't know anything about doves. I don't know if they're good. I don't know if they're bad. I, I heard that they're fun to shoot and they're good to eat, but I don't know if they do anything bad to, like, the ecosystem. But, sure, I mean, I like them. I'm not going to shoot them because doves do have a season for sure. I'll come back and kill them in season and hopefully whenever they taste better. But, anyways, we're not done yet. We're still scouting for more starlings and sparrows. Hurricane San Andreas has officially hit Kentucky. Here's the notification squad, people. Don't forget, guys, possums do bite. It's fairly rare, but they do bite. You can actually watch one of these two videos where I would actually played with possums, and you can see, you know, you know, what a possum, what I thought a possum acts like. But apparently, there's some bad ones in the bunch. I'll see you later, guys, and be safe with them cheese heads.